Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to be going over how to create a simple little bumper inside of After Effects. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is get a new composition and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it bumper. Everything else is fine. 1080p. And then you're going to want a new text and then you can just put whatever you want in here. I'm going to go ahead and just type my name for now. And then for that, you're going, the one thing that I would change is the anchor point because right now it's down here on the bottom left. I usually like it to be in the center so that way you can kind of fold it over or you can manipulate it a little easier. So we can go ahead and move it there. And then if you come down here and go title action safe, that way you can see where the edges are and you can move the bumper kind of down to where the bumper should be. Put it about right there, should be good. Depending on what you want to do after that, we're gonna go ahead and make a little box. So we'll select the box tool. And we'll go ahead and we'll draw the box out. And then as you can see, the anchor point I put in the center here, which is not gonna work very well for us. So we're gonna go ahead and press A. Oops. To get the anchor point, and then we can adjust that. If you hold shift down when you move this too, it moves a little quicker, so you don't have to drag quite as much. And you just want to get it close. It doesn't have to be super exact, but that'll just help it help you when you're animating it later on. So we can go ahead and move that down to here. And we'll drop that below my layer. And we can adjust this so it kind of fits it a little better. We'll zoom in a little bit. If you want to make sure it's center, you can click on the text layer and then Command R on a Mac or Control R on Windows. Bring up the rulers. You can go ahead and you can drag a ruler down so that way you can have your center line. And then you can make sure that the uh, box lines up with it. So then what we have, because I want both of these to move at the same exact time, we're going to go ahead and select both of them. And we're going to pre-compose. So we will just call this text. And then from there, what you can do is you can go ahead and select your rectangle tool again. And then we're gonna to wanna to draw a box around the text box. That'll create a mask. And then that mask is gonna be on add right now. So then what we're gonna do is go to the mask path, shape, click the little stopwatch. And then this is gonna be the end point. So I'd drag that out a couple seconds because we can always adjust that later. And then you're gonna to wanna to click the mask you click off and then click back on it'll highlight all the points for you make it a little easier then we can just drag that all the way over i'm holding shift while i drag this and then that'll create a second point there so if we go to the timeline you can zoom in a little bit four seconds is gonna be way too long so usually a good point for that is about eight or so so if you hold control or command and the arrow key you can go one two three four five six seven eight and bring your starting point there so that when you play it it'll just go whoop, and then your name will be there if you don't have it shown right now you can do the toggle switches slash mode turn on motion blur and then turn on motion blur for the composition itself and then they'll add a nice little feathered blur to it for you and then from there you can drag these two points to wherever you want so i'll just go whoop. and then if you want to do the same thing for the end if you copy and paste these and then come out and let's go like four seconds for now. What I usually do is I paste it. And then you can go ahead and drag that one over there. Drag this one here. Come back out eight seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then drop that there. And then you can have it go back away and disappear. So then you'll have it show up. And then it'll go away. And that's all you need to do to make a simple little bumper. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click the subscribe button, followed by the bell icon, leave us a comment, a like, and we will see you next time.